Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to add custom dynamic content in Collapsible Row in Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. Now, adding your dynamic content here on your Collapsible Row is fairly easy. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to set up your dynamic content. So at the bottom left here, we want to go to settings. And from here, we want to go ahead and click on the custom data at the very bottom here. Now you want to go to products, but depending on what you or how you want to use your uh, dynamic content, you might need to access a different one here. But since I want to add a dynamic content for my products here, let's go and choose products. Now let's go and click on add definition. And maybe I want to say this is going to be a product. And uh, let's go ahead and just say this is going to be a uh, extra, extra definition or extra description. And from here, let's go and select this one or use this name and you could add your description. So let's just say this is going to be test. And from here, you could go and select your type here. So let's just say this is a multi, a multi line text here. You could add your validations if you want to, but since we are good with this one, let's go and just click on save. Now, from here, the next thing you want to do is you want to exit here. So let's go ahead and click on the X at the top right. Then you want to go to your products and you want to access your products. Let's go and access this. Now at the very bottom, you want to go ahead and go to product meta fields here. We have our product X or description. For example, hey, this is a test. So just for testing purposes here. Now let's go and click on save to save our changes. Next thing you want to do here is you want to go to your online store. Let's go and click on online store. Let's go and click on the customize button that you see here on your uh, team. And let's go ahead and go to our product page. Go to your homepage, go to products and want to go to default products. Now in here, let's go and add another black a block on our template. Now let's just say we want to add a collapsible row. Now in this case, at the right side here, you have the option to add your raw content. But in order for you to make this dynamic, you need to click on the connect dynamic source here. Now once you click on it, what we need to do is we need to basically look for the um, field that we just created. So you could go and click on current uh, current block here. You could go to current template, go to product. And you should be able to see the product extra description that we just recently created. Let's go and select this one. Now, from here, let's go ahead and click on save at the top right here. And uh, maybe we want to view this. So let's go ahead and uh, go back into our page here. Click on the eye icon to view our page. And from here, we want to select our product. And as you can see, at the right side here, we have our collapsible row. When we expand this, it's going to say, hey, this is a test. And that's about it. So. Hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.